in this video basically i am going to show you that uh, what's the procedure to compile the udf in fluent and uh, more specifically the problems we face while we compile the udf there are various problems we face and then how to resolve them and uh, if we remember correct i have made this uh, this video in 2016 but uh, in that video if you take a look here this video this video uh, take care of the windows 7 windows 8 and also windows 10 but with uh, with the uh, the fluent versions up to windows uh, up to the version 17 but as the things are progressing and uh, we have the more and more and new versions of the visual studio and so is the ANSYS and the Fluent. Therefore, the these old techniques does not work anymore. That's why I'm going to make a new video here. So let's say I have uh, I'm I'm just opening the my Fluent case, and uh, right now I I I just uninstalled the Visual Studio from my computer so so that I can show you the whole procedure from the scratch. Now, if you go to the file menu, I'm just letting the Fluent to open fully. Okay, so I'm going to open the my file. That is the I'm I'm solving the problem on the accurate disk that that's to simulate the fan on the turbojet engine. So what I was trying to do is I was trying to compile a UDF for the specifying the profile for the fan condition in the fluent. But the, I was facing the problem. So first thing is that uh, if you if you want to use a UDF, the first thing is that you have to click on the user defined functions and manage. And if there's any UDF already loaded there, you have to unload that UDF. Maybe this sometimes if the UDF is already, already loaded, that's, this may also make a problem. So after unloading the UDF, then you have to go to the compiled and uh, you have to add the UDF and make sure that the uh, either you use the name C or C++. I would be preferring the C++ name and click on OK. And uh, also try to delete the any extra folders which you made while you compile the UDF because if these folders are there they, the UDF will not be compiled and now simply I will click on select the UDF and click on the build now you can see that we have uh, this error and uh, the errors we are facing normally they are they are many errors but the most common error is that which I can show you here is the one is an nmac is not recognized as internal external command so this is the first thing and this is a sign that the no visual studio or any compiler installed on your computer so if this error is there then you have to then you have to install the visual studio directly second problem that comes when you install the visual studio but still everything else is okay you don't get the error like the nmag you don't get the error this udf is not compiled for the parallel solver this is also one error the parallel uh, that your udf is serial and uh, this is not compiled for the parallel version but this is not a big problem this is not an even problem the problem is that either you don't have the uh, visual studio installed or if installed they're not in the correct way so if the visual studio is installed and you get the most common problem is that link error that the, it is not linking your code with the library so it cannot open the file kernel 32.lib this file is there in your computer but it's not linking the your udf with your solver so first thing is that you have to go to the visual studio on the microsoft uh, site so i'm not going to install the latest version which is 2019 uh, it's it's my uh, you can say it's uh, my point of view that the latest versions they don't have support for the latest supports latest versions for the different software so uh, i always go with the uh, one version older than the latest version available on the other side so latest version available is a 2019 and uh, i'm going to go with 2017 
so 2019 they call as a 2022 version and 2017 i don't know when it was uh, it was released maybe 2017 but its uh, version is known as the 15 point something so first of all you have to and it's a free you have to log in to the microsoft and uh, if your name is not there you have to make your account and if account is there then you have to verify the account so let me verify the account and i will not show this on the video okay so now we are inside the visual studio and the first option is the visual studio community 2017 version 15.9 so simply click on the download and this will download only the installer not the whole software and since i have already this file so i will be using the already downloaded file so right click here and run as the administrator sometime uh, without running the administrator privileges may also make issues and then continue this will just install few softwares for downloading and then it will take you to the actual downloading page on the microsoft so uh, basically definitely when you are working on some problem you look for solution on the on the internet so this these were the problems i was facing also and uh, then on the one post on the forum ansys.com they have shown that you should be installing these options but this this didn't work for me so i went to second page where they said that the, you should be installing the these two options universal windows platform development and the desktop development with c++ and uh, therefore i would be going with the these two options as well so this option and uh, see which options are there you should be you should be using those options as well so uh universal okay so just verify which options are there okay so you can see that we have these options uh just in time debugger and we will see so just maybe you can just keep it and we have the visual c++ 2017 version this is the 14.1 but i will be going with the latest one 15.9 and uh, c++ profiling tools windows 10 sdk there are many versions but i will be using this version so i will not be going for other options below there so i am using this windows 63 63 you can also find maybe somewhere here but this is not here so i will not be using these options and uh, previously i i used these options but this make the things uh, even worse so if you use these options the so the software will get confused the the uh, visual c++ and the fluent and which versions are we are using for the compilation and uh, then we have the option for visual c++ alt support and uh, tools for cmake i i don't see the why this is used but this is selected so i am using it also and uh, visual c++ for 86 and uh, 64 versions and uh, then we have the windows 8.1 sdk although uh, my windows is uh, is 10 but still i am using i am going to choose this option because this is is saying here so let's see what happens and also you must have the at least this much space free on your computer on your main drive which is drive c and plus a 10 gb at least free space for running your operation so uh, when you want to install this software you should be at least having 30 gb free on your primary hard disk and now click on the install this will take some time maybe half an hour and after half an hour i will come back here okay so now the visual studio is installed and the only thing it is asking about to sign in but uh, there is no need to sign in you can say now not now and maybe later so you can click here and then you can choose the your color theme and uh, you may start the visual studio 
Okay, the first thing I want to check is that the whether the C++ compiler is working or not. If it is working here, then it should be working in the Fluent as well. So the steps are very simple. First, I will open the project and uh, that project is a Visual C++, empty project, project two name. You can uh, choose the, your working directory. So let's say I choose the, my F drive and the miscellaneous. Okay, so create directory for solution and check this option. Okay, it is creating a project and inside the project we are going to create the source file. And for that I will click on add new item. And this is going to be the C++ file. Yes, and click on add. So you can put the name also. There, this is the my hello world program. Now I have already I have the my files, so I will be putting these files, uh, these commands over here. The only thing you will see different is the CSTD uh, library. So this is very important if you want to use a system command. And uh, but if you just just want to keep the, the the default program you see on the internet, so for that which is uh, these three lines, you don't need to put a system command, and then you don't need to put the include and the CSD. Uh, library. So uh, I'm going to click on the local Windows debugger and click over here. And uh, if I don't get any errors here, I would not be getting any errors in the Fluent as well. So you can see this program has been compiled successfully. So therefore, I'm going to compile. So first of all, I will be closing the Fluent. And uh, I will open the new Fluent file. Okay, and this is my case file and it's a, two, it's a 2D case and with a solver processor 2 and I will click on the start with the selected options. And I hope that the, with, with the, as a C++ compiler is working on my computer, so it should be also working inside the Fluent as well. And if not, maybe we need to restart our computer and then maybe this will adjust the working directories from where it is getting the compiler for the compilation. But I hope that this will work inside the Fluent right now. Okay, so... First of all, I will be unloading the any, any UDF there. So I will, I, I will be unloading the any library for the UDF, close it and right click here and then click on compiled and uh, add the UDF and delete the old UDF file, the, the, direct, the working directory for the UDF. And uh, so you can see the name of the directory, the file is C++ and now you can see the symbol also. And before installation of Visual C++, if you observe, if you go to the, the beginning of the, the this video, you will see that there are no symbol in front of the file. It means that now it also indicates Maybe uh, there may be some errors, but it also indicates that the VF successfully installed the Visual Studio and inside that we have the Visual C++. So click on this file and click on OK. And uh, now click on the click on the build. So we, we don't have any error at all. Now you can also load the library. Okay, so we loaded this library and uh, now I'm going to boundary conditions and here I have the boundary condition for the accurate disk and that is to replace the fan in the actual and uh, this is loaded here. So if you select the profile, this UDF is selected here. So this is the how you, you install the Visual Studio and how it will work with uh, Windows 10 and this my, my Fluent version is the 2020 release 2. And uh, I hope this solution will work for the other versions also.